The Greeks, for example, were the culture that brought grapes to the island. Mount Etna, the largest volcano in Europe, provides the perfect condition for growing grapes. It has coarse, rocky soil, it's fast draining, full of nutrients from the lava, and what you get is a cindery, berry-like red wine known as Etna Rosa. Though it was the Arab conquest that I think brought all of the best stuff. They introduced foods like arancini and pistachio and cannoli, a famous cannoli, gelato, or, or should I say they perfected the process of making gelato. Now, you're probably wondering, how do they make gelato on an island that was scorching hot? Well, it's actually quite simple. You go up to the mountains, you collect some snow, you bring it down, you mix it with milk, fruits, nuts, and what you get is a very rudimentary form of ice cream or gelato. And the Normans, of course, they built the opulent fortress-like palaces and cathedrals that you can currently see in Palermo. Siciliana.